Hey guys, what's up? It's Winnie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another lip swatch video for you. If you have not seen any of my other lip swatch videos, I will link that in the description box down below or in the cards. And today we're swatching the L'Oreal Color Rouge Shine Lipsticks. This is the PR package that they sent out to me. And they sent all 16 of the lipsticks in the collection, so I was really excited to receive this. And I've been seeing these around already. I saw them at Target and it was really picked over so I feel like these have been really popular so I thought I would go ahead and just swatch all 16 shades for you guys so these are supposed to be an ultra rich ultra radiant shiny lipstick it's got a glossy high color finish for lips that shine and it's available again in 16 luminous high definition shades it says comfort wear never sticky it's hydrating it has a lasting shine effect and rich color payoff. These retail for around $9.99 and on the website it says that there are three exclusive shades found at Ulta. First I want to talk about the packaging because I think this looks beautiful. It looks really nice. It's in this like clear acrylic tube and there's gold detailing and it says L'Oreal. It just looks really expensive especially for a drugstore lipstick. I really liked the packaging that they did for this. And since the packaging is clear you can see the actual color of the lipstick right through the top which is nice as well. And then these have a really nice scent to it. I am kind of picky about the scent of lip products and usually I feel like drugstore lipsticks tend to have that really strong, overpowering, florally perfumey scent which I'm not a fan of, but these actually smell really nice. I went ahead and swatched all the shades on my arm already and right away they reminded me a lot of the YSL Volupte Volupte Tint Balms. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll put a picture up. But it's got a very balmy texture to it because they do have a lot of shine and a lot of oil but I do think these have a lot more color to them whereas the YSL ones were a little bit more of a tint they were a lot more sheer so now let's go ahead and do the swatches I think I'm gonna try to go in numerical order just to make it easier so let me rearrange all of these so the first shade is Glossy Fawn, and this looks like it would be a very neutral, nudie color. I love the way these smell, but I twist these up just so I can show you the color. I do, however, recommend twisting them down a little bit because it is a softer lipstick. I feel like it would break really easily. These feel really nice applied on. Again, it's got a very balmy, creamy kind of texture to it, and it really isn't sticky, but it gives you so much shine. So I am really loving the formula already. I think I applied it maybe three times back and forth on the lips to achieve this color. It's not a super strong color. This is a little bit more nude again, and it's very close to my actual lip color, so it might be hard to see. But again, I feel like it's something that you can wear very sheer. You can just do one swipe, or if you wanted, you can go back more times and build up the color. And these are not transfer proof or anything. They're very easy to remove. I've actually been a lot more into glossy lip products lately because I've I feel like matte has been around for so long and for the summer this is like a great lip trend and also because my lips are dry. Next is Dazzling Doe. Again, this looks more like a nude shade. It's more on the neutral brown side. I actually really like this one on. It is definitely more brown, and I feel like the shine that it gives it, it just makes it look very natural. And then we have Varnished Rosewood. This one is definitely a more terracotta rosy shade. I'm pretty positive these all have the same scent, but I'm picking up a little bit of like a cocoa scent to it. These are just so easy to apply. I feel like you don't have to be too precise with it or anything. This one is burnished blush and I think it's just a little bit more pinky compared to the last shade. Oh no, I dug a hole into the lipstick. You definitely have to be a little bit more careful with these because like I said, it is a softer, creamier lipstick. As these colors get a little bit more bolder, you'll really see that color pigmentation because although I've been calling it like a balm texture, it really does have rich color in it, which I guess hence the name Color Rouge. Moving on to Sparkling Rose, this looks like a very nice neutral nudie rose. I really like this one too. I feel like it's a very demure like pinky rose. You can definitely wear it like every day. And then we have Shining Peach. This actually looks to me like a muted nudie peach. A lot of these lighter shades look very similar. I think it's just going to be the undertones. And I don't love it against my skin tone. I feel like it's a little bit too nude. Some peaches work for me, some just don't. 
I feel like it would just look better on someone with a little darker complexion or a better tan because I'm so pale right now. All right, this one is Dewy Petal. I already know this is not a shade that's gonna suit me well. It's a very powdery bubblegum pink. It actually kind of matches my nail polish right now, which this is by Sally Hansen. I'll link it down below, but it's like the perfect match. So if I ever wanna match my lipstick to my nail polish, I'll know to grab for this shade. We're getting into some of these brighter shades now. This one is called Glazed Pink, and it looks like a very vibrant pink. I think what it is with some of these pinks are their base, and this pink I feel like I can work with a little bit more, whereas the other one was just a little bit too blue-based. But I'm not sure that I'm really a pink girl anyway. And then we have Luminous Coral, and it looks just like it sounds. It's a very pretty, vibrant coral. I really like coral shades, actually. I think this one would be like the perfect summer lip because you've got a bright pop of color on your lips and you've got a nice shine. And again, this color would look really great with like a nice bronze. We've got another really bright pink. This one is called Polished Tango. This one looks like more of a bright pinky coral. Okay, this has nothing to do with these swatches, but I'm just curious to know what you guys think about lip fillers. Have you ever had them done? Would you ever do it again? I feel like lip fillers are so common these days. I see it more often than not. I haven't ever done them. I think I'm honestly more afraid of the pain than anything. And I know that they're temporary, so I don't know if I want to go through that and then have them like go away and then have to go back and do it all over again to get that same look. So I just want to know what your guys' take on lip fillers are. But anyway, the next shade is Laminated Fuchsia. This is a very bright fuchsia pink. See, this one you can really see that color payoff which I think is beautiful and then with the high shine on the lipstick it almost looks like you're wearing a gloss over your lipstick and then we've got enamel red and this is like a beautiful gorgeous true red this one for real has the best color pigmentation it goes on so easily I feel like I definitely don't have to go back and forth too many times and you can really see that bright red I love the way it looks it's a very like old Hollywood kind of feel a red lip will always be glam that one did stain my lips pretty well you can see a little bit of leftover red but we're moving into the darker shades which are the last few that I have so we have glassy garnet the shade looks like a deep raspberry red. Again, this one, similar to the last one, is a super creamy, very pigmented color. I'm just loving the ease of applying these. You just swipe them on. Okay, this one is called Gleaming Plum, and I feel like this was the most different compared to all of the other ones. It went on really sheer, and I feel like this is really a wash of color. It's a very bright, purpley plum color. It's very sheer. And even if I went back and forth to try to build up this color, it still is a little bit sheer. I can still see my lips through this color. I'm not really sure why. I just feel like I wanna kind of dab this one on the center of my lips as if I was eating popsicles or something. Last but not least, we have Splendid Blackberry. This looks like a black lipstick I saw and I was a little bit scared, but actually goes on really pretty. It looks kind of intimidating from the two because it's very, very dark, but it's actually a really gorgeous, super vampy wine shade. The only issue I have with this color is that it's a little bit patchy because it is so dark and because the formula is so glossy, it can maybe apply a little bit uneven. So with a darker shade, you can really see that unevenness and where it might look slightly patchy. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my favorite shade. Just for fun, I'm gonna have you guys guess what shade I'm going to put on, which one is my favorite. Just pause for a second and leave your guesses in the comments right now. It's Varnished Rosewood. Is anyone surprised? This is like, a my lips but better color. I feel like I can just throw this on without even looking. I can see the shade being a very popular shade because I feel like it's very neutral and anyone can wear it. And those are all 16 shades of the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipsticks. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite, if you already have these, which one do you own. Overall, I really like the formula of these lipsticks. I feel like it's super comfortable on the lips. Again, I love the shine. I've been a matte lip lover for a really long time so it's nice to change things up and I think these are really beautiful on. I love the color selection. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thank you guys as always for watching and if you'd like to see more of me on my social media you can follow my links down below for my Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram and I will see you in my next one. Bye!